how are you? I hope you're well. So today's class is going to be really interesting because we are going to learn about the body parts and in this regard we are going to create some sentences with this new vocabulary. So let's begin! Okay, firstly I would like to ask you something, right? The question is if do you think that each stage of our life presents changes in our bodies. You think that? Okay, now I'm going to explain you a little bit about the human life cycle, yes? So, firstly, when we born, we are small creatures, yes? We have short bones and we have a small head and we are very curious people. When we grow a little bit more, we notice that our bodies change too. They become bigger and our mental capacities increase. When we go to the next stage, we are more mature and we are aware that our bodies need protection and need care. Yes, this is very essential because we need to be strong and healthier, okay? Later, we become adults. And when we become adults, it means that we have more responsibilities, such as job, such as study, and other ones. And the last stage is that when we get older than the other stages, yes? So it means that we reach the old age. When we reach this one, our body is weaker, so we must care of ourselves to protect our health, yes? So it means that we can't overexert ourselves, yes? Right? Okay, another question for you is if you have ever noticed some changes in your body throughout your development, throughout your growth, what do you think? Think about it and tell me now. Well, we don't usually see changes in our bodies, yes? This is because we have a slow process during the growth and development. But actually, we have some clues that tell us that our bodies are changing. For instance, sometimes we realize that our clothes don't fit anymore, yes, don't fit anymore. And if we take measurements of our height and our weight, we can realize after a while that these measurements are changing, yes, because as I told you before, this process is very slow, okay, very So, as we have started before, our growth our development is really interesting. So, this is because when we grow and we develop our capacities, our intellect, our emotions, our spirit, our will, we can enjoy all of these things and have a really good advantage of this. So, now, why don't we study the body parts? Well, follow me. Okay, now I'm going to show you the images and the words related to the body parts. What you have to do is write on your notebook all of these words, yes? Because when you have a doubt regarding this topic, you are going to review your notebook and then you are going to have a clear understanding because you have all of these aspects here in your notebook. Okay, very good. So, let's pronounce them. Well, our first word is body. Repeat after me, body. Very good. The second one is head. Head. Very good. The third one, shoulders. Shoulders. The fourth one, back, back, feet, arm, arm, 
The sixth one is leg. What is leg? This is a leg. Leg. Hand. Hand. Really nice. Knee. Knee. Ankle. Ankle. Okay, guys. This is the vocabulary that we are going to study in all of this section, okay? So, pay attention to the next round. Excellent! So, we have analyzed all of these parts of our bodies. So, now we are going to learn about some useful expressions to use when we are going to indicate something about our body, okay? So, this is our grammar snack. In this case, we are going to learn about demonstrative. These, these, those, and that. So, let's begin. Well, demonstrative pronouns are those who serve us to indicate something, as I told you before. But in this case, it's when we're talking about something. We sometimes use them with nouns and we sometimes use them on your own. We use these, singular, and these, plural, to talk about things close to us. We use that, singular, and those, plural, to talk about things at some distance away from us. Let's see some examples. This is my nose, that is your mouth, these are my arms, those are your legs. Here, in the first one sentence, what do you notice? What is the demonstrative pronoun? Exactly, these. And the second one, that. Very good. For example, we are talking about our arms. So, we can use this. This is my arm. Yes, this sentence contains this. That is the demonstrative pronoun. Okay, very good. So, when we use this, this is singular. In this case, we use them because we are going to talk about one thing. So, yes. when we use these, this demonstrative pronoun, is because we are going to talk about in plural. It means when we are going to refer to something that is not a unique thing, when there are many of them. If it's something that is far from me, I can use these and these, okay? Is it clear? Well. Okay, this is the practice stage. In this case, you are going to apply all of your knowledge and some activities, okay? So, firstly, I would like to know if you, you like playing games. Okay, this is the space where we are going to do it. And we are going to apply our knowledge. I'm going to put here the link and you are going to click on it. Then you are going to find a page where you have all of these games. This game is really useful because you are going to review the vocabulary started in this session. So what you have to do is match the pairs, okay? For example, you have in this column the images and you have in this column the words. As you have studied all of these terms, match the pairs, okay? So you're going to find what in this image is related with the other word here in this column.
So, how was it? Funny? Okay, guys, it's time to read. We are going to become a really good and active readers. So, let's begin to this kind of activity. So, I'm going to tell you this story. It's really interesting, so I hope you pay attention to all of these aspects that the story told, tells you about, tells you about. So, this is called Lisa's story, okay? Lisa gets older. When Lisa was born, she was very small. The whole world seemed huge to her. But as the weeks passed by, Lisa got bigger and weighed more. A short time later, Lisa learned to crawl first. She tugged at her mother's robe and sometimes she held on to the tablecloths, but then she learned. Lisa learned to speak, said Doc. She learned to paint and she learned to write and read. But also, when she got older, Lisa saw her body change. She already noticed that, for example, her hands got bigger, her legs and arms got even longer, her face got more round, her stomach seemed to have grown a little more because it made her hungrier. Her eyes changed color, her nose took a torn up shape, her head grew, and her mouth became smaller. Okay, as I told you before, there are some questions regarding the reading. Yes, this activity contains three questions in the seat. It's really short. If you paid attention to all of the aspects that I already told you that you have to pay attention, you are going to answer these questions and really fast, okay? So the first point is to read the tests again and underline the vocabulary studied in class. The second one is to choose a partner to discuss what were the least changes. And thirdly, Write in your own words using short sentences. How do you think Lisa felt about her changes? Guys, don't forget to write on your notebook all of your answers because then I'm going to see what you have done. Okay? Well, this is the other kind of activity that we are going to develop. So in this case, you are going to choose a partner. When you have chosen this partner, you are going to draw her or him in your notebook. And then you are going to point out their body parts. In this case, we are going to use the vocabulary that we started in the previous um, stage, okay? Well, you will have as a homework something really interesting and enjoyable. In this case, in this case, you will reflect on your own lives when you have experienced some changes, for example, in your body. Yes? So you're going to entitle this presentation, this homework as This is me. Okay? So you are going to draw in pictures of each stage where you have experienced some changes. You are going to answer the question, how do I feel with these changes? Obviously, you have to use the most of the pronouns in your homework because it's a review of all of the statements and the, the aspects that we already started during the session, okay? This is your homework. Before finishing, I would like to ask you something. Do you like singing? So, this is the time to sing. So, 
Let's begin with it. This song is called This Is Me. We are going to listen to the song and we are going to sing as a chorus. So meanwhile, when you're listening to the song, you're going to point out your body part. So let's do it. There are two gaps. When you listen to the song, you are going to find what are the words that are mentioned in it. Okay? Okay guys, this is all for today's class. So I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot of this topic. And see you the next week, see you in the next class, and I hope you, you're well, okay? So, bye-bye.